Hey everyone, Tony George, DocSports.com. Back in Kansas City here at the home office. Been a while, been out in Vegas three weeks uh, for numerous reasons, but nonetheless, back in Kansas City, ready to go to the Chiefs and Bengals game tomorrow. Hello. And going to be talking NFL football, Ravens, and Raiders. A um, couple different ways to bet this game, in my opinion. I'll just give you some different slants on this game tomorrow on Sunday. Taping this on Saturday before my slate of games is played. Uh, so we got this up for you Saturday and overnight and ready for an early 1 o'clock Eastern kickoff tomorrow out in uh, Baltimore. So we'll uh, hopefully have a great day. Uh, we got a big top play today in the NFL. Tell you what's going on there in just a second. Let's get to this game here. And, of course, the Ravens played a good game against Kansas City, actually. A, a game that ended up about that much toe out of bounds for them tying the game or going down only one point and Harbaugh wanting to go for two on that Thursday night opener for the NFL this year. Um, this, they've had a lot of time to prep for this game. And the uh, Raiders didn't look good last week. Now, the spread in this is eight and a half. It opened up at 44, dropped down to 42 and a half, probably for a good reason. Um, one thing I noticed, uh, you know, Baltimore is throwing the ball around a lot in Kansas City. I don't think they need to here. Uh, so one of the, a really good prop bet. I'd go Lamar Jackson under 29 and a half passing attempts. It's probably your best bet out of the three different angles I'm going to give you. If you're a prop market guy, props are props are pretty fruitful in the NFL if you do your homework. We'll have a prop card for you on Sunday. Um, we split four and four so far this year. That's going to change this week. Week one, you never really know what to expect. You know, I expected a great game out of Baltimore against Kansas City in revenge mode after the AFC Championship loss last year as a four-point favorite. Kansas City goes on to win the Super Bowl, so they had a lot of revenge on their mind. And, you know, Kansas City being Kansas City, you knew that was going to be a great game. Uh, the Raiders, pretty much what I expected. Offensively, they're challenged. And I think that's going to be the case here. I'm going to play the under 42 and a half in this game. I think Baltimore is going to pound Derrick Henry. His rushing yard attempts or yards went up from 69 and a half all the way up to 74 and a half in the prop market. And I think he can feast against this uh, Raiders defense. I know they got Max Crosby running around. Uh, but they have a couple other injuries there. Uh, their offense didn't look good. Minshew at quarterback's not going to be the answer for them. Um, they don't have an answer at quarterback this year with either one of them, in my opinion. I think their offense is going to struggle. Um, and I just think they're going to have trouble putting points up in this game. And I think Baltimore will take a more clock-eating, you know, physical type, play good defense, pound the rock, play action passing, uh, that sort of uh, game plan here. And I will take the under 42 and a half. Um, I don't like laying eight and a half points. I mean, I think if anybody laying a big number this weekend could put, put up some points and cover a number like that, it would probably be Baltimore. You should be using them in a teaser, get them under the fall number of three. You're going through three key numbers there. Seven, six, and three. That's called the value teaser. Um, I would rather tease them down than the Raiders up, actually, even getting them at 14 and a half. Uh, this easily can be a 28 to 10 game, in my opinion. But I, I do think you're going to see uh, a very run oriented type game plan out of uh, John Harbaugh in this ball game. Uh, they've had a lot of time to prepare, a lot of time to, uh, you know, think about that loss to Kansas City. So, that's about three different angles on this game, you know, all favoring Baltimore. Uh, I just don't think Las Vegas traveling across the country, playing at, a, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning their time, what they're used to at, at a 1 o'clock kickoff. 
they're just at a disadvantage in almost every angle in this game. Now, the NFL is fickle and kind of funny. Anybody can beat anybody, but with added time to prepare and already starting out 0-1, I think Baltimore is the way to look, especially on a teaser. And I do think it's going to play under the 42-and-a-half for your free play. Doc Sports, thumbs up, subscribe, all those good things. Hope you tuned into the Gridiron Six Pack this week with myself and Griffin Murphy today. Uh, we will have NASCAR. We will have WNBA. Uh, we will have a Major League Baseball best bet. And we have a six-unit top play on an NFL four-pack today. And while I haven't put together my prop card, I've been working on it since Thursday. So we'll probably have at least four plays on a prop card covering all the games in the NFL. I'll be passing on Monday Night Football, but I'll give you a free play on that on Monday. Best of luck on Sunday in the NFL. Get over and get a top play winner. We got a free 60 bucks link in the description below. You can expand the description below the video here and get a free 60 bucks parked in any new account. There's also a tab on the website that says free 60. No strings, no obligation, hassle free, and comes with a profit guarantee. So get over to Doc Sports. Tons of free information over there. 11 other handicappers, the consensus services, props bet service. I think both those are text-based. So get over to Docs and check out all the free stuff we got for you. And get yourself some good decisions going here on Sunday. Let's get it done in the NFL. Booyah.